Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech, Susil this side and this is continuation of Azure tutorial. So today we are going to see about the Azure storage. So what is Azure storage and how we can create the Azure storage inside the Azure and what are the different pricing models are available inside the Azure storage. So these are going to cover in this video. So let's get started. So what is Azure storage? So Azure storage is going to store the structured and unstructured data and that data can be accessed through remote from anywhere. So this is basically as we can say that this is a kind of storage where we can store structured and unstructured data and that data can be accessed from anywhere. Next in this diagram as you can see this is the Azure storage. So this is one of the Azure storage account. So we are having total four type of Azure storage accounts. The first that we can see the blob. Second, we can see the file. Third, we can see the queue. Fourth, we can see the table. So these are the type of Azure storage account. And here we can store the data as per their definition. So in the first, as we can see the Azure blob. So this is basically scalable object store for the text and binary data. So inside the Azure blob, we are going to store the text and binary data. Next is the file. So inside the file type, we can share the files among multiple VMs. So we can store the data of the files here and we can share those in the multiple VMs. The next which is the queue. So inside the queue, we are going to store the messaging type of data and that we can messaging between the application components. Table. So table is basically no SQL store for schema less storage of the structured data. So this is kind of no SQL data that we are going to store inside this table type. And last that we could see the Azure disk. So inside the Azure disk, this is the block level storage volume for Azure VMs. So mainly we are going to use the first one which is the Azure blob. So this is going to use very often in the real time environments. So go to on the next slide and where we'll be going to see about the pricing model. So here as we can see, so Azure provides different type of the storage accounts that we have already seen in the previous slide. So each type supports unique feature and has its pricing model. So the first that we could see general purpose V2 account. So this is one of the storage account type. So here we can see this is basic storage account type for the blob, file, queue and tables. So these type of data that we can store inside the general purpose V2 account. And this is the basic storage account. Next is the general purpose V1 account so that we can see. So this is again going to store the blob, file, queue and table information but this is having legacy account type. Next that we can see block blob storage account. So it is going to store accounts with the premium performance characteristics for the blob blob and append blob. So as of now we did not cover about the blob blobs and append blobs. So you can understand we are having a storage account type which is the block blob storage account and it is having the premium performance. In the next video we will be going to see about the blob blobs and append blobs. So you can understand it is having premium performance and high transaction rate or the scenario that use the smaller object it requires to consistently row storage legacy. So that you can understand next is the file storage account. So the file storage account is going to store the files with the premium performance characteristic and it is recommended for the enterprise or high performance scale applications. So normally inside the organizations we are going to use the file storage account. It is having the high characteristic of the premium performance. So that's why we are going to use this. The last that we can see the blob storage account legacy. So it is having the blob only stores in the real time we are going to use the general purpose v2 account instead of when 
we are required to use the blob storage account legacy so these are the main pricing models are available and it is having their own pricing mechanism and if we are going to use the general purpose account then we have to spend some money and if we are going to use the v1 account or the blob block storage account or the file storage account so we are having different different pricing models for all these so go to in the browser and where we'll be going to see the real time how we can create the storage account and the pricing model everything that we are going to see in this video so go to on the browser so here i have already logged in in the azure portal so in the search you can search for the storage account and we can click on this so here we can see we are having these two storage accounts but i am going to create a new storage account so let me click on this create now it will be going to ask few information that we need to pass the first information that is the subscription as i told you we have to specify some subscription on which we are going to create the storage account next we need to specify the resource group so as we have already this adf training so this adf training is the storage group next here we need to specify the storage account name so that i am going to specify ssu testing and after that we can specify the reason so we can leave as it is in the below soid we can see the performance so the performance which is recommended for the most scenarios that is general purpose v2 account that we have seen in the premium side we can see it is recommended for the low latency so low latency it is going to use for the enterprise but for the training purpose i am going to use the standard one and here we can leave this as it is click on review and create so in the advanced networking data protection and tax i am going to leave as it is just go in the review and create tab and click on this create so it will take few seconds and after that your account should be created so we need to wait until this will not be created so here we could see deployment succeed so we can go to the home and go to the storage account again so here let me refresh this so now we can see we are having this one more account which is ssu testing that we have created right away so let me click on this and under this we can see we are having these much options like the property then monitoring capabilities tutorial so all these informations are here but if we are going to scroll little bit here then we can see the data storage so the data storage are having these four types first is the containers then file shares queue and tables so that we have already covered so let me go on inside the container so here we can see we are having this log container if you want to create any new container and on that container we want to keep the files so that we can do so let me quickly create a container here under that container we'll be going to add few files so here is the new container let me call this as ssu and we can click on create so here we can see this container is created let me click on this and it will be having this window so that we can see we are inside the storage account and under this ssu testing storage account and here we are having this container which is ssu so under this container we want to keep few files so let me click on this upload and here it will be going to ask select a file so let me select a file here let me go inside the download let me add this candidate information sheet let me click on open so here we are having this option which we can use override if the file is already exist so here we don't have any file so we can either select or not so go to on the advanced side so inside the advanced side we can see the blob type so inside the blob type which is the block blob 
so as of now we did not cover this so that we will be going to cover in the next video so let me click on the upload directly so it will take few seconds so as we can see this seat is added here so this file is under this ssu testing ssu container and this file so this is the storage accounts basically so i hope guys you have understand about the storage account how we can create the storage account and the pricing models of the storage accounts in the next video we will be going to see about the blob storage thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos and press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos see you in the next video